Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is our first tutorial and it's gonna be Promise by Jimin from BTS. Awesome guitar song. Super easy to play, but it sounds fantastic. Some kind of jazzy chords. We're gonna break it down. Also make sure to check out the video that we're gonna link below of us covering this, albeit in a different key, perhaps. But really, let's talk about these chords. Hot, yes. hot fire, right? Yes. Fire chords. So here it is. Okay, a couple easy chords, right? We start off middle finger. Andrea, Andrea's favorite chord, the major seven chord, all right? Middle finger, 10A, pointer finger, 9D, ring finger or pinky, whatever you're feeling, on the 11th fret of the G string. Now, think of this as a shape, because instead of like looking at a tab and being like, okay, I gotta, put, I gotta jam my finger here, then I gotta jam here, it's really only two shapes. The whole song is two shapes. This is a major seven chord rooted on the 10th fret. So you can think of this, G major seven chord is the name of this. Right? So, the way they're playing it is they're kind of doing it finger style, and then they're coming back down and getting that percussive. Got it. So, the second part of this, after we hit the three strings, A, D, and G string, strings, click it. Usually, like, the fingernail part of your hand gets that sounding the best. Some people do this. Don't be one of those people. And then after that, so, chord, hit, chord, alteration. You're just gonna lift your ring finger, which is on the G string, take it off, and now it's gonna reveal the ninth fret on the G string, which your pointer finger already has unlocked. So if you can do that, you can play the whole song. Really, that's it. Just like that. Cool, right? Easy. Mm -hmm. Easy. The only other shape we need is right here. Your ring finger is gonna grab the ninth fret on the A string. Your pointer finger is gonna grab the seventh fret on the D string. And then your pinky is gonna grab the ninth fret on the G string. And use your pinky. And a lot of people out there are gonna be like, oh, I don't wanna use my pinky, I wanna do it like this. You can, but no. Use your pinky. I know you've never used your pinky before for anything in your life until now. But now it's in the game. And it's basically the same thing, right? So we get the first chord. Again, 9A, 7D, 9G, those same three strings. Get that little click again. And then the same thing, chord again and then an alteration. And it's really the same kind of alteration over this chord, which is like a minor seven chord, is what we call it. And then you go lift your pinky up and now your pointer finger is grabbing the seventh fret on the G string. Super pretty progression. Doesn't really matter, you can strum it, you know? Make it your own. These are really just, these chord voicings will, you'll find useful in all sorts of different songs, all right? So after we do that, we've gone through these first two chords, we can sit in the same position and then just lift your ring finger up and have your middle finger replace it on the eighth fret of the A string. So now it's the exact same thing we did on the 10th fret, but now it's on the eighth fret. So now this note right here is an F. F major seven is the name of the chord. If you ever see a chord chart, you're following along with it. The exact same thing you did on the first chord. Got it. Then the same thing as the second chord, but now rooted on the seventh fret of the A string. And it's a little bit different, just like you did. It's kind of like two, bum, bum. And then the money shot. All right, so I did kind of lie. This is like a third shape, but it's super easy. We're gonna take your pointer finger, get the ninth fret of the D string and the G string, which we've already played in the song at the beginning. But now we're gonna add either your ring finger or your middle finger to the 10th fret on the B string which is gonna be replaced as a new highest note, the melody kind of on top of these chords, right? You can play this chord other places on the neck that I've seen in different videos and stuff, but this is gonna be the one you wanna use because you're already in position to start over again. See, just boom. Just like that. See how fast that was? Yep. That was like a Jung Cook backflip across the stage. Just like that. Jung 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 Cook. How do you say it? Jung Cook. Jung Cook. Got it, that's what I said. That's exactly what I said. Andrea, all together, let's hear it. Yeah. Perfect. Look at that. 
crushed it already. Easy song, just take it super slow. They're probably, you know, they might be chord voicings that you've never used before, actually. Like this right here, it starts off. This is actually just a G major chord, really a type of a G major chord. It sounds way different. That's what a voicing is, a different way to play the same chord. So this is a type of G major chord, but just played up higher. So I think it's really great intro into maybe playing some kind of jazzier style voicings on different parts of the neck and movable. You don't need a capo to play it. You can move these shapes around absolutely anywhere, right? Really take them and try to like make up your own songs or something, or try to change the key because everything happens. If that's, you know, Jimin is such a great singer. His voice is so high. It's yeah. kind of hard to recreate. If, if you're trying to sing along, just move everything down. Instead of starting on the 10th fret, start on like, you know, the, the sixth fret. And then everything moves along with it. Just like that, that's it. Huh? Couple that's chords, it. couple chords, you got yourself an awesome song. I will include tabs. It's definitely not my style because my style is doing as little work as possible. But I can do it And just for having you guys. charm and charisma float my entire channel. But I guess we'll do tabs because some people will find that helpful. So thanks for joining her channel. Yeah. And subscribing and liking and commenting. Well, thanks so much for teaching on my channel, Sean. Hey, I'm happy, I'm happy to be here. Okay, goodbye everyone.